Hi, Mike from the Royal Montana family. By accident, I found something really cool this morning. I found out that you can access the Tesla service manual for all models for free on the Tesla website. So yeah, by accident, I found this out this morning. I actually been looking into subscribing to Tesla Toolbox, the diagnostic software for Teslas, so I could play around with it for about a month or so, I guess, because I believe it was $350 a month, and I thought maybe, okay, but I needed a couple cables, and I already had the one for the Model S, and was waiting for the one uh, for the Model 3, which came in this morning. And so I went back into the Tesla website where I could subscribe and I found something super cool. You can now get access to all the service manuals for all the Tesla models for free. Zero dollars. It shows zero. I hope this is not a fluke. There was something else similar to that, I don't remember what it was, but something similar where it was accessible, where, where things were accessible for free uh, that shouldn't have been and then it changed. But this here seems like it's really for free and uh, also it seems like the prices for the toolbox have changed though. So the service manuals that, I don't remember what they were, they were like $36 for a month or something. I don't remember. If you know, leave a comment down below. But uh, right now it shows zero. And I didn't need the service manual because I uh, have had a service manual for the, the S and the 3 for a couple years now. So I wasn't really interested in that. But you just come across it going through there. Um, but so these are now free. And you can get all the models. There's uh, the wiring schematics are in there, um, and the, the entire service manual, also body manuals, tool manuals, all kinds of stuff. Um, so really super cool. What else I noticed though that is not so cool: the toolbox subscription is more money now. I'm pretty sure it was like three hundred fifty dollars for a month for thirty days or something, and now it's five hundred dollars. And I'm pretty sure that was like $300, $350 before. Maybe I'm wrong. Leave a comment down below if you know what it was. But now it shows $500 um, for one month. And it shows $3,000 for one year. And I believe that actually got cheaper. I thought that was like $3,600 for a year. But maybe I'm wrong again. I don't I'm not sure anymore now. Leave a comment if you know how much these things were. Um, but I think the yearly subscription has gone down and the monthly subscription has gone up. And so anybody can access these manuals, but you need a Tesla account to do so. But you don't need to own a Tesla to have a Tesla account. My 14 year old daughter has a Tesla account, so <laughs> she has an account so that I can give her access to the app so she can actually get in the car. Um, if I'm not around, she has a key for it, right? Since there's no real key, she can use her cell phone as a key. And so she has a Tesla account. So you can open a Tesla account as well, which is pretty simple. Um, you just go to the Tesla website and open an account. All you need is a uh, I think you put your name in at an email address and bang, you got a Tesla account. That's about it. And then if you want to do more, you would put more information in at some point. And if you ever get a Tesla, then you would add that Tesla to that existing account. But yeah, you need an account to do so. To get the account is free no matter what. And then you go to a different site to actually get the service manuals. You go to service.tesla.com. So let's look at this on the computer. So on the computer here you can see I'm at service.tesla.com and then here you get to see all this fun stuff. <laughs> uh, here are service subscriptions, Tesla proof collision centers if you want to 
become a Tesla approved collision center you could uh, find out what it takes here but basically we're looking for service subscriptions and uh, we click on learn more and then here are the options service and uh, repair information diagnostic software so and then if we scroll up the really cool thing is right here annual subscription zero dollars this is the coolest thing ever so as you can see it includes service manuals parts manuals parts manuals you were able to access as well previously you didn't uh, you just had to have a Tesla account, but you could get in there anyway. Um, but now you also have the body repair, the, the tooling catalog, the wiring uh, diagrams, the service bulletins, and the labor codes and times. You can access all this cool stuff now right here for zero dollars. Um, let's go over to the diagnostic software. And so here it shows now Toolbox 3 diagnostic software and then the standalone HV battery shipping evaluation tool. I'm not sure if that was part of the, the software and included in the price before or not, but I don't, I don't want to ship a battery, so it doesn't really matter, I think. I don't know, I don't know what it's for, really, so. But um, yeah, here, that price, I'm pretty sure that was like 350 a month, is now 500 a month, but the annual, I believe, was 3600 a year, and not uh, three so i believe this came down and that went up which sucks because i'm just looking for this <laughs> so for me it just has gotten more expensive um if you remember the previous prices uh, as i said leave a comment down below uh, but i'm pretty sure the monthly went up the annual came down and obviously yeah if you want to subscribe you just hit sign up now and there we go and so then you, since you have a Tesla account, you would then sign in here. And I purchased this already. So if I sign in, so if I sign in, then um, I can no longer purchase it. For you, it would, would go to uh, through the purchasing process. And it will actually do a it will go to the payment screen as well but the, the amount will be zero on the payment screen and you just process an amount um, with uh, zero dollars on it and I'm not sure if it would ask you for credit card information or not at that point since we have a Tesla account and we have a credit card on file it would not ask us um, it may ask you, but again, the amount is zero. So you can process an amount of 0, $0.0 dollars and shouldn't be an issue. So yeah, but here, as you can see, we have the current plan right here, service and repair information expires May 20, 2023. So we just bought that this morning and we have documentation access for Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y, and the Roadster. The Roadster already has been free, if you didn't know that, actually. I don't know for how long, several months, maybe a year even. Uh, their, uh, the Roadster service manuals were available for free here at service.tesla.com. So that is nothing new, but new is the four other models. And the Roadster, by the way, is only generation one. The new roads that that's not out yet there's obviously nothing there um, and maybe let's go here let's click model s just so you can see this and so we got the model s service manual 2021 plus which are the brand new ones and then we got the 2012 to uh, 2020 model s service manuals um, these models were a little bit different than the brand new ones um, there's more service documents for all models, parts manual, uh, correction codes and times, as well as the owner's manuals, which you were able to get before already. So that's not uh, something new there. Um, there is uh, more 2012 to, 20, uh, 2012 to 2020 Model S correction codes, right? So there's 2021 and the, the old ones basically. Fault code list and definitions, that's pretty cool because if you have a fault code come up, 
um, you get this uh, red triangle on your screen, right? As a warning, if you tap on it, you can actually see the fault code and just a short description. But now you can probably go in here and let's see. We should have um, some codes here. And so like here, it would show BMS um, F002. Uh, HW over voltage and then you could see a short description here so you have a better idea um, of what's going on possibly while it only may uh, show BMS F002 HW over voltage and not much else on the screen but uh, so here you got a little indication there um, let's go back uh, got circuit and connector reference for the brand new ones there so and then we got collision repair procedures and uh, for the old one and the new one so and you have this for basically every model so there may be um, the roadster may be a little different if we go to the roadster here um, so we have a service manual service documents parts manual uh, circuits connectors so whatever was available or is available at this time is here and so that is pretty cool because it's free so uh, the thing is with the service manuals and Tesla it does not uh, it doesn't contain any diagnostics okay um, it may have some explanation on how a system works but mainly it's a remove and replace. So it mainly uh, just tells you how to take something apart and put it back together. So for diagnostics, um, we, uh, I think that is only in the toolbox and the software and that's the one uh, software that I was actually looking for when I came across this here this morning. So I think this is the coolest thing and hopefully, like I said, this is not just something weird, some fluke that happened and somebody put something in wrong and they changed that back. So you might as well subscribe right now to our channel, to Rural Montana Family for giving you this information. And then you go and subscribe for zero dollars to the Tesla service manuals as well. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.